Hi, I'm Jack Schlafly. And I'm Bennett Porson, and you're watching WCAT Sports Report. We're going to kick things off with the softball team. They're 16-3 with Allison Greenberg and Cabal Zakis leading the way. They're having a great start to the season so far this past Monday with a 2-1 win over BT. And coming up next week on Wednesday, they're going to be taking on GAC. Need everyone to come out and support them and their quest for another region title, really going after that championship this year after such a great season last year. Talk about fall sports success. The volleyball team has also had a pretty good season, 4-1 and one at the St. Pius tournament, and they're 14-14 14 and 14 on the year. They're having a great job overall, and with more, we're going to toss it to SL, who has an interview with Gabby Dolan and Addie Croft. Hi, my name is Sarah Lawrence Miguel, and I'm here with volleyball players Gabby Dillon and Elizabeth Harvey. What's your favorite part about being on the team? Um, I guess probably just like the bond that we have as a team and like the friends that I make. So, How's your season going so far? Um, it's going really well. We have been working very hard and it's been paying off and we had a great tournament last week and yeah, it was great. I heard you had a really tight game against BT. What was the score of that? Um, I don't remember the score, but we played probably some of the best defense we've played all season, and it was an accomplishment, yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. Back to you. Thanks, SL. A lot of promise there on the court. Definitely. Moving on to boys cross country, the cross country team is having a great start to this season. They're getting wins all over the place. You have those runners. Jack Powers is doing great up front. I mean, just... You can't say enough about this boys cross country team. Yeah, talk about the freshman Will Wallace as well. Carrollton Invitational, they did a great job, and you know Coach Tribble is going to have his boys ready. Also, not only boys cross country, but girls cross country, they had a great, great run at Carrollton Invitational as well. And both teams coming up next week at the Atlanta Classic. They need your help this coming Saturday. Really going to need to run well help place and get good position coming into regionals. Yeah, both teams second in their region behind Blessed Trinity, who are the defending state champs. Moving on to the big event this weekend, Wildcat football against Therrell. And talk about two key pieces that we're going to be missing this Friday, Zay Malcolm and Cortez Austin. Zay Malcolm, we're not going to see him this week because of a sprained ankle. Injured it last week versus Towers, but a great 32-8 win versus Towers last week. Sad we're not going to see Zay this week, but Ian Uday is having a fantastic season. Chase Williams from the backfield. Ian Uday also getting it done on the defensive side where Cortez will be missing. Not going to see him on the line. See a lot of Tyler Gillikin this weekend versus Daryl. Overall, I think the Cats still can pull it off. I mean, this is just such a great team. Even with some of your best players on the bench, you have such an in-depth lineup that is going to do great this weekend. Yeah, you talked about that defense. Giving up a score. First play of the game against Towers. Didn't score the rest of the game. So promising stretch there for the defense towards the end of that game. Should be able to carry that into Therrell and to these next few games. Well, that's going to wrap it up for us. Good luck to all the rest of the fall sports. I'm Bennett Porson. And I'm Jack Schlafly. And you've watched WCAT Sports Update.